screen reader demo with Geordie. Hello, my name is Geordie and I'm a Braille music transcriber at Vision Australia and I love to sing. I sing most regularly at a busy um, church in South Yarra where I use Braille to read scores and sing choral music. A screen reader is software that sits on top of Windows or other, an other OS and it uh, renders the visual information into an accessible format such as synthetic speech or braille and you can customize uh, the screen reader so that you can have it at a different speech rate, you can have it using um, reading selected information and it just makes the computer accessible to a user who's vision impaired or blind. I use a screen reader called JAWS for Windows version 2022. I find it uh, an invaluable tool. Um, I've got some experience with other screen readers as well, but JAWS for Windows is my preference. For example, the web page that I'm on now, which according to the refreshable Braille display that I have in front of me says Primary School Years Vision Australia. And if I use my down arrow key, I can explore the top elements of that page. Same page, the main content. This is the Australia logo. Menu button. Search. Escape first piece, search button. Link home number one, please visit Link Home Library. Link now. Red from navigation region. List of four items. Visit Link Home. Link find services and link services for children. Primary school years. You'll notice that my computer is speaking very fast. Link inquire about services. Main region. I use JAWS for Windows at speech rate 75%, but I can slow that right down so that people have some hope of understanding it. Navigation region. Heading level two link. Services for children. List of four items. Link early years. Visited link primary school years. Link high school and beyond. Link experts you will work with. The nice thing about using JAWS on the web with a well-structured web page is that you can skip via heading. So you know what the most important bit of information is and drill down to the subheadings within those important pieces of text. For example, if I press the quick key H, it will take me to the main uh, body of this article. Primary school years heading level one. If I move a bit further on, Services for children heading level two link. It's telling me that services for children is a heading level two. And if I keep going with quick key H. On this page heading level two. Keep on going heading level two. And then if I want to know about what's in this particular heading, I can just use the down arrow key to read the text that's involved. Further develop reading and literacy skills, physical coordination, sociability and independence. We can offer you the tools, advice and support to create the best environment for your child, helping them navigate the new world of school and unlock their potential on their terms. Alt text is a really important feature on the web for someone who is blind or has low vision. Um, here is an example of some very good alt text that describes the image that I'm focused on. The three Bradley boys in their karate whites graphic. I know that's a graphic and I know that's three boys in their karate whites. It's very uh, concise and easy to understand. Sometimes we can navigate to web pages with a lot of graphics, particularly at the top of pages, it might have logos or banners, and it might just say graphic 3254M, whatever. And it's not useful at all. We have no idea what's on the page. So to enhance the user experience, it's really important to label any graphic with concise and useful alt text. Prepared by Digital Access Vision Australia. Vision Australia. Blindness. Low vision. Opportunity. opportunity.